परमसुखम केवल ज्ञानमूर्ति द्वन्वादीत गगन सदृश तत्व सेक्यम नित्यम विमलमचल सर्वदी साक्षिभूत बाबादीत त्रिगुणरहित सद्गुर तम नमा Nityanandam everyone welcome back my name is Manitya Prabhananda Swami for those who are new I am a sanyasi swami of Nityananda order initiated by his holiness Paramahamsa Nityananda the living avatar So today I'm going to share something personal how I met Swami ji So I met Swami ji um in Sao in San Jose California America It was year 2003. I think it was in fall around August. Swami ji was visiting that temple so to receive Swami ji the priest um, gave a call and invited me. So I was one of the person representing to, uh, the temple to receive Swami ji. Then I moved on to yeah, the one way interesting thing that I remember seeing him first time. He just used a regular uh, plastic plate and the food that was served for the common people he just had a little prasad from there he said no 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 need to mix anything special and then um he gave us energy darshan because most of the time when we receive any swamis they are very particular with their diet the plate what they use and things so i was actually i really noted wow the swami is very simple <laughs> mm, he just eat the food what we are eating common people that serve for common people the plastic plates spoon and everything and uh, at the end of the day of his visit to san jose temple san jose ganapati temple he gave energy darshan i didn't know what was that at that time we had a friend i had a friend visiting my family had a friend visiting us and he was going through some challenges so i went close to swami and i said swami please bless my friend to have a good life so he gave me like energy darshan touching my third eye that's it moved on and at that season of 2003 i was very body conscious very health conscious body conscious no you know people who live in san francisco very body conscious very um focus on the appearance how you look and everything also health so i will used to bake my own soy milk and my lunch will be like fruit cantaloupe <laughs> i remember that season i was a cantaloupe season i was having cantaloupe <laughs> and um, so i saw a black and white flyer i clearly remember it's black and white not even color it say healthy mind i don't know what else it said but i remember healthy mind and us dollars 150 dollars i just missed the early bird discount 50 dollars if not it should if if i would have called a day early it would have been just 100 dollars but i called a day later it was 150 dollars so i called the organizer and asked Hey, I just came to know about it. Can I get still the early bird discount for hundred dollars? They said no. Well, I was not very happy about it. First of all, I believed that spirituality means, especially in Hinduism, it should be an offering. You shouldn't be charging money. So anyway, I did not know for some reason Swamiji's picture was there, and what pulled me was at least I thought at that time, it says. healthy mind since i have a background in psych counseling and psychology and at that moment i was practicing for healthy body so i said let me see what is healthy mind because i was really taking care of my health the diet the fitness and everything okay let me add to it let me see what is healthy mind that was the only reason i thought at least that was the reason mm. I took another step. It was just a black and white flyer. Another step to go for that weekend workshop. And when I went for the workshop, Saturday, Sunday, you know, like hundred fifty dollars they provided breakfast, lunch, dinner, and tea time, everything for the first day, second day too, and also a hotel stay. 
um, it's a uh, it was in I forgot Hilton Inn so it was pretty good but still even then I was questioning why so much money so for those who, are, who knows me now, you know I speak about Inner Awakening and that program costs up to $15,000. I question about $150. Now I speak to people and I believe $15,000 is absolutely worth paying. Because now, obviously, uh, there's a cognition shift in me after being about 15 years, more than 10 years, less than 15 years. Being with Swamiji, I first of all, I I know I how to manifest wealth when I want, especially for spiritual purposes, cosmos just showers. Second, I know money is not um, the matter, it is priceless what I'm going to go for. So anyway, um, then I met Swamiji, I attended the weekend workshop, Saturday and Sunday, the workshop was called Ananda Spurna program ASP working on the main seven chakras starting from Muladhara, Manipuraka Muladhara, the base of the spine. It is associated with lust, greed. To balance that and clean that and balance it. After that, Manipuraka, uh, uh, not Manipuraka, after that, Swadhisthana. Also get locked because of fear, or they call it being level or being chakra. Next was uh, is Manipuraka. Manipuraka is navel center. That chakra gets locked because of worry, constant worry. And then the following is Anahata chakra, heart region. This chakra gets locked because if we are so much in need of attention, I am I'm good, I'm great, I'm this, I'm that, you know. And then followed by Vishuddhi chakra, throat center. This chakra gets energy center, gets locked when we constantly keep comparing ourselves with others. And finally, uh, oh no, there's two more. Anya chakra, third eye. That gets locked when you are so discontent and egoistic. And finally, is the Sahasrara Chakra. This is the ultimate beautiful chakra and I always enjoy doing a meditation of that chakra when I was doing the program. This chakra opens up with the space of gratitude, overflowing gratitude for life for everything there's a saying in hinduism we do not pray our prayers is offering of gratitude don't pray asking for i want this i want that no no always be grateful having gratitude offering gratitude is the prayers of hindus um, i forgot the real word exact word to say that uh, the flow but yes so it's the gratitude is the prayers so that's the uh, program I attended with Swamiji. Within um, two days, Swamiji did give me a very profound spiritual experience. I think I've shared in uh, one of the video before this. I just felt the last day of inner uh, Ananda Spurara program, Life Bliss program like a child literally a baby i felt my being was a baby in his arms he was giving the, the, the last day he was giving initiation uh, darshan i felt like a huge mother divine mother enveloped me closed me hugging me like the, as a baby and gave me the darshan the whole time, the th one thought current that was running in me was, where were you? Where were you all this time? Why you left me alone? Where were you? And I was, I literally felt like I was all alone left on this planet Earth. At that moment, even though I had a great life and everything in the outer world, when that during that energy session, I felt like, where were you? I felt like my cosmic mother. How could you leave me all this while for so long by myself? At that time, I was just turning 30 years old. I was really a new birth for me. 
So next time I'm going to share of my spiritual experience. How did I went to next, 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 next level? Because I just perceived him as a Swami. Even then, I want to share my healing, healer's initiation and how miracle happened, how I did not believe in healing and I couldn't deny when that healing happened physically and how my mind was constantly kept denying it. Okay, so if you have any uh, further question, please feel free to um, write it down in the below box, uh, the box in the below. I'm going to also leave Swamiji's YouTube's channel. It's called Anityananda forward slash Life Bliss Foundation. And don't forget to visit innerawakening.org site. That is the greatest opportunity you'll have being in the presence of Swamiji the living avatar for 23 days literally 23 days he will be there with you guys and um, I don't think it's going to be available in the future this time with me that many days that many hours so whoever listening to this uh, channel right now definitely take the jump any question feel free to give me a call or leave a message I will definitely get back to you Thank you, Nityananda.